My brothers and sisters, we gather for worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Today the Church remembers Bridget of Sweden, abbess of Badstena. She was born to the governor of Uppland uh, in about the year 1303. Bridget married at the age of 14, had eight children, and often attended the royal court, where she continued to experience the mystical revelations she had known since childhood. These increased in intensity after her husband's death, and three years later, she responded to them by founding a monastery for nuns and monks at Stena in 1346. Her daughter Catherine was the first abbess of the so-called Brigantine Order, became influential throughout Northern Europe. After travelling to Rome to obtain the Pope's approval for her plans, Bridget never returned to Sweden, but spent the rest of her life as a pilgrim, an advisor to rulers and church leaders, and as a minister to all in need. Revelations were recorded by her confessors before her death, which occurred on this day in the year 1373. So as we prepare to celebrate the presence of Christ in word and sacrament, let us call to mind our sin and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, our, our Heavenly Father, Father, we have sinned against thee and against our neighbour. In thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of thy Son Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve thee in the news of life, to the glory of thy name. Amen. Almighty
Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In silence we pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we beseech you to direct, sanctify and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of your laws and the works of your commandments, that through your most mighty protection both here and ever, we may be preserved in body and soul through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Someone told him, Look, your mother and your brothers are standing outside, wanting to speak to you. But to the one who had told him this, Jesus replied, Who is my mother, and who are my brothers? And pointing to his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Father, we thank you for the life of your Church. As we remember Bridget, we pray for your Church in Sweden. For our links, 
with the Swedish Lutheran Church. We pray that by your grace we may be a neighbour to each other. We pray for all who will visit this patch of holy ground this week. Those who will be here for worship. Those who will come to offer private prayer. Those who will come to visit. That each may glimpse your glory. Each may know your peace. Each may know your love. Lord, hear us. Father, we pray for the communities in which we are set, the places where we live and move and have our being, for our friends and families, our colleagues and neighbours. We thank you for our community together here in Karshopton, for our schools breaking up, for places of recreation and leisure, for all who are charged with maintaining the safety and peace of this place. Lord, hear us. Father, we pray your blessing upon our world. For all those whom you call to exercise authority, for those charged with bringing about or maintaining peace in places of conflict, we pray that there may be resolution. Where there is despair, that there may be hope. Where there is darkness, that there may be light. We pray for all places affected by natural disaster, for those who work to bring about aid and relief. Lord, hear us. Father, we remember those who cry out in any kind of pain. We pray for those awaiting or recovering from surgery, those anxious about the outcome of medical tests. We pray for all who live with life-limiting conditions, for all who watch and wait with them in hospital, hospice or at home. We pray for those whose names are laid upon the altars of our church all those whose needs are known to you alone. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord us. hear us. Father, we pray for those who have died, for all who have died in recent days, including Michael Rogerson and Patrick Redden, all those who lie within this church and churchyard, those who have walked with us the way of faith and who are now at rest, and all whose anniversary falls at about this time. We pray for the bereaved and for your blessing upon our ministry to them. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. And so we come before you in a moment of quiet and make our own personal prayer. We gather up these and all of our prayers in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Bridget and all the saints. Merciful Father, accept, accept these, these prayers. prayers. For the sake of my Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We are all one in Christ Jesus. 
We belong to him through faith, heirs of the promise of the Spirit of peace. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with our spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed are you, Lord the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Lord. Just give thanks unto our Lord God. It is me to my to you. God of all power, ruler of the universe, you are worthy of glory and praise. At your command all things came to be. The vast expanse of interstellar space, galaxies, suns, the planets in their courses, and this fragile earth, our island home. By your will, they were created and have their being. From the primal elements, you brought forth the human race and blessed us with memory, reason, and skill. You made us the rulers of creation, but we turned against you and betrayed your trust and we turned against one another. Again and again, you called us to return through prophets and sages, you revealed your righteous law. And in the fullness of time, you sent your only Son, born of a woman, to fulfil your law, to open for us the way of freedom and peace. By his blood he reconciled us, by his wounds we are healed. And therefore we praise you, joining with the heavenly chorus, with prophets, apostles and martyrs, and with all those in every generation who have looked to you in hope, to proclaim with them your glory in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O glorious Son. Blessed is he in the coming of the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. So far, we who have been redeemed by Christ and made a new people by water and the Spirit now bring before you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his friends, saying, 
take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, gave thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. work of redemption, and offering to you, Father, this sacrifice of thanksgiving. We celebrate his death and resurrection as we await the day of his coming. Lord God of our ancestors, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, open our eyes to see your hand at work in the world about us. Deliver us from the presumption of coming to this table for solace only and not for strength, for pardon only and not for renewal. Let the grace of this Eucharist make us one body, one spirit in Christ, that we may worthily serve the world in his name, through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so in faith and love we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. So we are many, we are one body, for we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Jesus bear our sins, sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Jesus redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and thou
body of Christ. The blood of Christ. Let us pray. Strengthen for service, Lord, the hands that have taken holy things. May the ears which have heard your word be deaf to clamour and dispute. May the tongues which have offered your praise be free from deceit. May the eyes which have seen the tokens of your love shine with the light of hope. And may the bodies which have been fed with your body be refreshed with the fullness of your life. Glory to you, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also be with you. Christ, who has nourished us with himself, the living bread, make you one in praise and love, and raise you up at the last day. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Amen. The Mass has ended. Our service begins. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.